stronger ties through people-to-people -people exchanges top of the agenda at the first China-US social and cultural dialogue. Hello, I'm Nathan King, sitting in for Anand Naidu, and this is The Heat. Hello again. Dialogue, it's a cornerstone of China's global outreach strategy, building stronger ties with countries through exchanges of ideas, such as issues of health, culture, innovation and security. This week, Chinese Vice Premier Liu Yandong traveled to the United States for the inaugural China-US Social and Cultural Dialogue. For more, we turn to CGTN's Roe Ruttenberg. And Roe, let's take a step back. How did these current dialogues between China and the United States first come about? Well, many of us will remember the Strategic and Economic Dialogue, the SED, uh, under then-President Barack Obama, uh, along uh, with the U.S. and China. That expired uh, when he left office uh, this past year. And in 2017, in April, when Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, visited uh, with President Donald Trump, the U.S. president, in Mar-a-Lago in April, they agreed upon what's called the Comprehensive Dialogue. Now, that has four pillars. There is uh, the uh, uh, Diplomatic and Security Dialogue, there's the Economic Dialogue, there's the law enforcement and cyber strategic dialogue, and then this one, the social and cultural dialogue, and that's really been uh, the foundation of the gathering this week with the Chinese Pr Vice Premier uh, Liu uh, Yangdong visiting here in Washington, uh, meeting with U.S. officials uh, all throughout the week, first in New York and now here in Washington. Ray, right, there have been several events here this week. You're at one of them now. Uh, what's been the focus? Well, the focus has really been enhancing people-to-people uh, -people cooperation. So we saw Vice Premier uh, Liu Yadong uh, meeting on Thursday with Secretary Rex Tillerson from the U.S. discussing how they can improve relations, not at the government-to-government -government level, but really on the ground between the Chinese and the American people. We're also here at George Washington University, where we've just finished uh, an event that included students, uh, entrepreneurs, artists, scientists, young people, though, involved in really establishing ties between the two countries. Now, we heard the Chinese Vice Premier Liu mention that there are more than 300,000 Chinese students studying in the U.S., a very significant number. But then U.S. Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos noted that there are 14,000 American students studying in China. That's a very significant disparity if you really want to engage people at the people-to-people -people level. China announced it will be launching a a scholarship for 10,000 American students over the next four years to come study in China. That's one of the ways to bridge this gap. But this isn't just about education. It's about arts. It's about science. It's about culture. Uh, a, a whole series of seven areas that they're focusing on to improve relations between the two countries so that they'll continue on a path of growth and stability for the next 50 years. Both sides know that when people become friends, when they establish connections, that is the foundation for continued growth in the future. Thanks, Roy. That's CGTN's Roy.